Hello guys, Iron Juicy here. And Jefferson B. And this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, last week was Halloween, and so Jefferson B and I are still sporting our Halloween colors. Now, Jeff's had this really crappy truck here for well, pretty much his entire Euro Truck Simulator career. And there's not a Volvo dealer in this location, so we're going to drive back to Osnabrück to get him a Volvo. And you might say, yes. well, why didn't we do this earlier? Because it was Halloween and the dealership was closed. Yep. So uh, we are doing the sand set now, so we will see whether we get lost. Sidebar, um, how do I get this truck back? What do you mean? Yeah, well, if I ever, it, let's say I wanted to use it again for another video in the future. Well, you see simple here uh, when you go and buy the new truck they'll say do you want to drive this new truck now and you go well yeah I would like to drive this new truck now and then they teleport your truck to your garage in Berlin simple as that yep that's that's some very simple high uh, high finagling physics there now I would recommend going into your uh, garage manager when we get to Osnabrück and giving yourself up giving it an upgrade that way you have three slots mm. because it might be grumpy about the fact that you don't have three slots using all that sweet sweet inheritance money that's a fact jack <laughs> how many how many inheritance monies do you got i got 319,000 european inheritance monies uh, i've got uh 16.6 .6 million european inheritance monies well, not all of us can have royalty as our inheritors. I really wish I could share some. I'd be happy to buy you a truck. And, oh. and you could actually... I wouldn't even <clears throat> need to buy you a truck. I've got ten trucks. Okay. That's why I don't even have to worry about making money technically on these jobs. Because I've got... As long as I'm driving, I have my... My, uh, my other drivers are driving my trucks for me in across the country. Well, across the European Union. Osnabrück, the we're following road signs. I feel like such a real trucker right now. Oh, yeah, that is. Uh, yep, yeah, let me move over here so I don't accidentally this yep. game. I Andrew C in the rear windshield near it. Oh, breaking physics. You broke physics? No, you broke physics. I broke physics. You just ghosted through me. I ghosted through you? I've been in front of you this whole time. Nope. Maybe it, maybe I'm just laggy then. Maybe I'm laggy, because right uh, now you just went through me. Yeah, I just I just went through you. Okay, so we're back in sync now. Very good, very good, good show. Take two. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> so I, uh, I I I I do believe uh, this is time for the news. The news. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Lone Wolf, do you got any news? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. in uh. In news today, Apple has recently launched their uh, their upgrades to the Mac Mini, iMac, as well as MacBook Air, allowing for impressive CPU upgrades as well as a downgrade to repairability according to iFixit. The new Mac Mini, for example, is a single board PC with uh, only a Wi-Fi module to remove, giving it a repairability score down to a 6 out of 10, which is down 2 points from the 8 out of 10 they gave the previous model. Uh, the new IMAX will sport a 5, yes, 5K monitor, as well as an additional set of, uh, well, an additional set of, uh, uh, CPU upgrades. The MacBook Air is likewise getting a CPU upgrade. I believe it is to E Haswell, but don't quote me on that. Um, we'll be looking at some very, very nice machines in the near future. Almost makes me want to upgrade. But I think I'm going to have to wait a few more years. I may even make the jump to an SSD before I would do a full new machine just because of budget. Yep. But altogether, looking very, very shiny, very nice. In other news, uh, Apple Pay has recently launched officially, as well as OS X 10.10 Yosemite. I was really hoping for OS 10 Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, I, believe, I believe a lot of us were hoping for Rancho Cucamonga. But yep. Yosemite... After the acclaimed National Park has launched today, boasting a much flatter, much bolder design choice on Apple's front, very much so to complement iOS 8, as well as the release of Apple Pay. 
which has been uh, taking the world by storm, which is in, 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 in an interesting contrast to Google Wallet, which really did not do as well. However, the speculation is that while Google Wallet tried to boast itself as a payment replacement system, Apple Pay is looking more towards the partnership model, as Apple typically does for their future. Yep, and uh, also they released uh, some new iPads. New oh iPad, yeah, there was a iPad Air 2 and the iPad Mini 2. Uh, however, if you do not have any need for uh, the Touch ID system, there is literally no point in buying an iPad Mini 2. In a recent news article by Lifehacker, there was no foreseeable reason to upgrade your iPad of most generations because the iPad just does not die. Other than having a large glass screen, it actually is very stable as far as yep. you know upgrade cycles are concerned, and it's been it's been going pretty strong. Anything beyond uh, about the second generation is still looking really good. Yep, and uh, I mean, there's this is our this is the, actually the third generation of iPad Mini. Uh, if you have a Mini first generation, the non-Retina display one, there is a, you could you could go ahead and upgrade that one if you wanted a Retina display. But again, if you don't want a Retina display. Why buy one? Exactly. So, uh, you know, you had a uh, last couple weeks ago, we had the iPhone and uh, iPhone 6, 6 Plus mm -hmm. came out, and uh, which pushed all the other prices down a little bit. So I was actually able to pick up a iPhone 5S. Welcome to the 21st century. And uh, have joined the 21st century of useful smartphone users. I've That's had a, right. I've had a smartphone, but... It's and kind of a hashtag fail smartphone, so. Well, I wouldn't call it a hashtag fail. I would put it more in a, uh, it's kind of like the preteen of smartphones. It's really not sure what to do with itself, whether or not it needs large buttons in order to accommodate uncoordinated fingers, or if it should be a full-fledged smartphone with its, uh, you know, nice touchscreen and app stores, but. Honestly, nah. my biggest problem with it is it only, my, my old smartphone runs gingerbread. And that is, a mm -hmm. is the most horrible Android OS ever. Uh, Donut was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, pretty much anything that's not in the 4.0 dot dot dots, you know. Honestly, I'm bad. not even sure I would go that far. I have a coworker of mine who owns a OnePlus One, which for those of you unfamiliar, is an invite-only smart uh, purchase of a smartphone made by the company One out of China. And... Uh, he really likes it, and it comes stock with CyanogenMod 11, which I will say might be the superior Android operating system currently on the market. What is it? What is that one based on? Uh, CM11 is it, it is originally based on uh, whatever the last one before L is. Oh dear goodness! So uh, 4.4.4. Yes. Oh man, um, we are just crashing at everything collectively here. Yeah, we're having a good That's time. That's what happens when we don't want to lose all that glorious speed up the ramp. Yep. You just kind of plow into everything just because you can. Yep. But yeah, um, it is definitely an enticing smartphone, the OnePlus One. If someone wants to send me an invite, uh, Jeff Benson is at gmail.com. Please send away. Or comment down below. And yeah, I, mean, like uh, free, I will totally... Like yeah. I mean, I'm kind of broke right now, but you never know. I, you know, I, I, I would love to get into the uh, Ghost Incorporated reviews section, you know, and just uh, be a, be a another uh, another voice in that review marketplace where we mm -hmm. you know, talk about things that that are cool. And so uh, even you know, if you guys got a maybe maybe you guys make a game or uh, you're you know you know someone who makes a game and they they need someone to go and play it and then try to get some words out about it. We'd be happy to take your game codes and uh, go play the game, and then uh, hopefully, if it's a good game, give it a good review. Yeah, we give honest and straight reviews direct to your subscription box. Please subscribe. We do. Uh, it does appear that the uh, that Jefferson B has just blown right past the Volvo dealer. Oh, hold on, hold on. I live in the state of Virginia, so I can do this. U turn. <laughs> oh, nope, nope, nope. This is what I get for being a Virginian transplant. <laughs> that was oh dear goodness you're gonna love seeing that one on the replay uh, and for you the viewer just get to see it mm -hmm. I gotta wait till I edit it oh, unless we decide to add a slow-mo replay now there's a possibility untapped potential of the Euro Truck Simulator videos 
Now it's time to get Jeffrey's very first good truck. Okay, here we go. And we're looking at a wide array of pastels and black. And hello there. This is the Volvo FH16. And turn off your flashies, dude. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Do, do you, uh... This is kind of a fail. What? I'm not able to purchase until level 14, level 10. Ha! Ah! We can indeed. We can indeed. So now, here's what you want to do. Don't click purchase. Don't make. Well, I gotta find which one I want. Don't make the mistake. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Don't okay. worry about that. Click on whatever one you can buy. Click customize configuration. Let's see now. Yeah, that's the 14 one. Globe Trotter at level 10. The VH sleeper and there it is. Yep, fully lighted out. Upgrade transmission. Yep. That is everything. Uh, now, now we can click purchase. Yep. And do you want to drive your new truck? Yes, yes I do. Um and then I want to take my Man TXL and I want to magically teleport it to my garage in Parlin. Exactly. Please That's select an available slot. But I did select an available slot. Oh thank you for your purchase. Please enjoy our new truck. Wow, that's a hideous color. It's like brown. Oh, I like this color. It's pretty bad. I like it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a nice truck. Drag race. Oh. Hey, let's, let's drag race. Alright, I'm on my way. Just uh, pull up right next to me. Kind of planned on it. Or you can collide through me, I guess. All right, ready. Kind of. Uh... Okay, hold on. Ready. Oh, oh, you done that a bit. All right, Kay. we're lined up on my screen. Yep, same here. All ready. right, ready. One, two, three, go. Oh man, who's got the faster truck now? Uh, Whee! my screen, still me. On my screen, oh, there you go. Oh, hello, lag. Oh, <laughs> Did geez. I just teleport? No, you like, <laughs> do this weird thing. <laughs> for oh! No, you like, do this weird thing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you ran into the, you ran into the roundabout. I managed to get through the roundabout, but plowed into a wall. I see. We're about to, we're about to flip over. I thought it was gonna flip over. Hey, too. look, a service station. It's right around the corner, so I can paint this thing a not brown. Not brown. It's a good plan. Look at that mini me truck. <laughs> All right then. Well, that's a bombshell. That's a bombshell. Very orange bombshell. Very orange bombshell. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you uh, really enjoy our videos, you can hit the subscribe button. We'll get these videos right to you more YouTube build because that's how YouTube works. Uh, we'll see you guys next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.